Hello everyone and welcome, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having the most incredible day. If this is your first time on my channel, my name is Sebastian and I welcome you guys with open arms. I do pop culture videos every single day. So if you're looking for the latest in reality TV, influencer tea or pop culture girl, I got you. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. I'd be super, super grateful. You guys, I am literally living my Reba moment right now. A single mom who works too hard heart who loves her kids and never stops with gentle hands and a heart of a fatter i'm a survivor i'm trying to work and he has other plans for me honey so i will be having to do my tea while um accommodating to him anyways welcome back to my channel girl we need to talk so you guys we need to talk about cara delavine and listen i i'm here boo um a lot of her friends are very concerned over her. So, oh, it uh, TMZ is reporting that her friends actually did a intervention because they are very concerned. Um, TMZ actually reports that um, Cara Delevingne friends say she is in a bad way, struggling with issues that go beyond substance abuse, and their desperation to get her help is becoming increasingly obvious. Um, Margot Robbie is definitely one of her biggest, you know, best friends. And TMZ posted a picture that it's allegedly after the talk with Kara. And I'm going to post it right here. Um, it looks like Margot Margo is very, very sad. Um, it says here that um, Kara has been struggling for a while initially with mental health issues. And now the closest people uh, to her want her to go to rehab, not only for substance abuse, but also for mental health. Um, there is, uh-uh, uh, not my sleeve, uh-uh, mm-mm. Um, just because this is Ross does not mean you get to destroy it. Uh, so, there's a video going on in TMZ right now where she is just looking, I'm gonna, I'm gonna play it here while we talk. She is definitely not acting what how we say you know normal but i have dealt with people i love and that have been under substance or have had substance abuse and it is something very very scary to witness someone you love go through something so so horrible and honestly being lost in that um from her behavior that we have seen lately in the red carpet with Megan Thee Stallion, lying on the floor, being obnoxious, being fidgety, missing New York Fashion Week. Of course, a lot of people are very concerned. Um, I think that Mark, um, Marco and, and all of Kara's friends, I really think that not only do they need one intervention, they might need a lot. Well, the article continues to say that Kara, she is not opposed to it, but she is sort of like, you know, basically trying to like win some time. When you are dealing with some kind of substance abuse and you have mental health issues, you are not being, uh, you are not able to really see what can benefit you. You know what I mean? Because sometimes, mo or most of the times, people, until they really do hit rock bottom, and if then, they don't realize they have a problem. And, you know, of course that, you know, someone can be, someone can be going under um, a lot of pressure mentally and stuff, but the conspiracies have already started, you guys. And they're basically very, a lot of people are very concerned um, for Kara's health. And I saw this video. I don't know what, or I don't know how I ended up on this side of TikTok, but I saw that um, the Illuminati was coming to get Kara or Kara, um, and that they were that she broke some kind. Girl, listen, she broke some kind of contract, so they are literally wanting her to disappear. There's so many rumors. There's so much conspiracies. There's so many things. And I have to tell you guys something that for me, this looks like someone who started very young, 
had a lot of power, had a lot of money and freedom, and that unfortunately could lead to substance abuse, which then, of course, you know, you, you do the substance abuse because maybe you're going through something mentally. So now you have your mental health and you have substance abuse. I do think Hollywood is weird as fuck, okay? And some of these conspiracies, like, don't sound that all crazy to me because the things I've seen in Hollywood are insane. But at the same time, I really think that um, that the focus should definitely be on on care. How do you say, hey, Google, how old is Cara Delevingne? I want to see how old he says it. Cara Delevingne Cara. is 30. Hey, Google, stop. Okay, thank you. She's only 30 years old, you know. She does look very, very disheveled, very, very unlike herself. Um, there was this video that I saw. If I find it, I'll post it here. There's a video I saw um, of her on, I think it was Cannes Film Festival, and she could not stand still to save her life. She kept fidgeting. She kept moving. She kept the moving. She kept, you know, all of these things. And I understand being artistic and I understand all of these things but like there is something definitely wrong here and when you are witnessing someone like I said when you are witnessing someone you love because I have been there and them not realizing the hurt they are placing on themselves and and also you're you're hurt you're hurting because you're seeing them it's very very sad to to witness and to see but I hope and pray that she does get help. I hope that um, Kara, you know, understands how how much her friends and her family love her, and I'm sure her fans as well. But my best advice to you, and this is why I wanted to do this video. I know her from uh, the DC movie. Um, uh, I know her from you know her modeling thing. She's friends with the Kardashians. Like I'm not like a huge fan, but like of course everyone knows who she is. But the main reason I wanted to do this video is because. I think that if you know someone in your life who is going through substance abuse or mental health, don't give up on them. Sometimes one intervention, one talk, one one conversation is not enough, okay? Keep trying if your mental health allows you to because um, it it is very sad to lose someone to that. And, um, and you know, it's... it's um, it's very, very sad. So I hope and pray that, you know, if you are going through substance abuse, I hope you know that you are loved. And even if you can't see it, or I understand you, you've gone through a lot in your life and life has been hard, but I, I promise you, if you try and get help, your life will turn around. And if you know someone who is going through it, please, please don't give up on them. Anyways, I gotta go. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video.